Okay, so I'm going to be making some air fryer onion rings and I've altered the recipe a little, so I'm gonna bring the things out that I've already, that I already have ready, like I already chopped the onions, just to save on time. So I'm gonna get these items out. There's the chopped onions. There's a mixture that I will explain. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is move this camera down towards the stove, like right there. Let's turn this side on too. All right, so here, oh, I need to get my pan. I need my coffee. Here. Okay. Here are the rings. Okay. Mm, I love the smell of onions. Okay. Organic coconut flour. This is gonna be step number one. Oh, I knew it was gonna be messy. So I'm gonna move my dish towel. Oh good, it has a Ziploc, but I doubt that it'll line up. No, it doesn't. It does. Yeah, it does. It does. It's further down. Okay. It's clear, so I didn't see it. All right. Now, oh, that smells so good. Oh my goodness. It smells just like grated, you know, coconut. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, so I'm just, I'm not measuring anything because I already know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna be dipping. So my pan, so these are, some of these are pretty big. I'm just gonna do one batch and the rest I'll put in my salad. So that should be good. Yeah, that's enough for that pan. Yes, coconut flour, it sure does smell good. Okay. Let's see if this Ziploc works, does it? Yeah, amazing, it does. It works all the way through, well, a little bit over there. I probably, you know what? I'm gonna put a rubber band on it. I don't want any air getting in there. Hopefully I can find one that fits. Okay, so this is step one, coconut flour. Oh gosh, that smells so good. I need to make some coconut cookies soon. Okay, so step two is gonna be the egg whites. So first I'm gonna dip the rings one by one into the coconut flour. Then I'm gonna dip it into the egg whites because I don't eat yolks. That's why I use whites. Then after that, the coconut flour is supposed to keep the egg white to stick to the onions. Then after that, I have three things in the mixture. In here, I used about a half of a bag of pork rinds, put it in the little food processor and ground them up. And there's also almond flour in here and garlic powder. So three things are in here and I did not measure anything. I'm just trying to go by like how many I'm gonna have. All right, so this is probably gonna get messy, so I'm gonna get a couple of gloves. I'm gonna just use one glove for the hand that I'm gonna be dipping. I'm not gonna preheat that oven yet because it, it goes really fast and I don't wanna be rushed. 
All right, step one. So it's like an assembly line here. More dishes later. Okay, so step one. I'm trying to figure out, do I want to do the little ones? You know what? Let's start with the little one. So I'm going to dip. I'm going to dip into here. I'm trying to figure out the neatest way to go from... It's recording, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to dip it into the coconut flour first. And I guess it just, you know, puts a thin coat. It makes it so it's not wet, probably, I'm guessing. Now we're going to dip into the egg white. Okay. Now, last time I did not add the pork rind. Well, I did. I tried, but they didn't. it didn't work out. So I, that's why I decided to grind them up. And I added the coconut flour. This looks very yummy. This is going to be so good. I'm going to have a huge mess under, but I'm going to get the pan before I put it in there. So we're coating it. Yeah, I guess the coconut flour does make everything stick better at the end. Dip it in the egg. Into the, the, the mixture. Last time, the... Um, Pork rinds were too big. They weren't they weren't ground up fine. It doesn't still to, you know, it still doesn't stick all that great. I don't know why. That one did. Oh well. It's okay. I probably have it too tall, so let's do this little one. Okay, coconut flour. Egg white. I'm gonna let them get all thick and messy because I want that stuff to stick on them. Ooh, that's all big and slimy. Look at that. Cover it up. Get on there and stay on there. I mean, I guess it's okay if it's not super thick, but I like a lot of crunch. This is a cute little one. I'm just gonna do one batch. I just really wanted to try again with the pork rinds. That one, okay, this is this one's a good one. That one has a lot of stuff on it. Um, this one looks good. See this one? This one looks yummy. Pretty messy, but that's okay. Everything cleans up. So. Okay. Oh, this looks like a good one right here. Look at that one. It's almost like a perfect circle. Boy, that coconut flour, I can't wait to make some cookies with that. That just smells so good. This one's a good one. Oops. That one looks good. You know 
know because I pressed it into there. So I will do that with the rest of them. The, the pork gray mixture, I pressed it into the sides. Big old glop of egg white there. And so I'm gonna bury it and then press it into the sides. Super slimy. I bet these are gonna smell really good when they're cooking because of the coconut. I'm gonna leave all this breading in there too. That's gonna be super good. Um, now the bigger they are, the less I'm gonna get over here. And then I'm just kind of, see, I'm, I'm put it, pushing it around the sides. I might try to add a little more to a couple of those because I didn't do this in the beginning. This is all new to me. Okay, so. Years ago, I used to just buy everything already made, you know, but as I get older, I'm feeling more creative. Okay. I really want to make some coconut cookies. I love coconut. I don't eat regular flour anymore, so it's either almond flour or coconut flour. I've never used the coconut flour until today with these, so. Never knew how good it smelled. Look at that one. That one's huge. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Oh, that's a failure. Okay, let's put it back in the egg. I'm very disappointed in that one. I think what it is is too um, cone-shaped. It's like one of the end pieces. All right. Um, that one's not good. This one, this is a really, now let's do this one. This one looks good. They don't have to look perfect. They just have to taste good. That's all I care about. I said I'm leaving all of the batter in there because that's going to make it super delicious. This one's this one's good. It's little, but I'm still recording. I keep checking because my GoPro has a habit of turning off unexpectedly. I'm not using my GoPro now, but I'm still checking it. doesn't have enough stuff on it, so I'm going to put a little slop on it. No. Bad 
idea. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I still feel like I'm going to do some more. I don't want to go do two of them. This is a cute little one. Look at that one. This one's like perfect shape. Put both of them in here. That one will easily fit over there. This should be good. After these two, and I, that should be good. That was a big onion that I got. I don't want to disturb these. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it in the center of a big one. And I want to see if I can get this one to fit without disturbing those and having everything fall off. It's just the right amount of breading for st the step three, which is the, the almond flour, the pork rinds, and the garlic powder. And you know what I'm going to do, I think? I'm going to pour some more garlic powder on them. Now I have my crumb tray in the air fryer because these are gonna have a bunch of things falling off of them. Already they're on the stove. Okay, that's gonna be a good one. Okay, wait, I could probably get another little teeny one in there. I do have, here's a little one. That'll fit, oh, that'll fit in there. Let's do that, that way. I make use of all of this egg white here. And I think there's enough crumbs in here for this little one. A little one, I'm getting greedy now. Let's try this one. I'm getting greedy. I just want to use it, I want to use all this up. That was a perfect amount for one pan. Okay. Um, where should I put this one? All right, that should do it. I'm gonna turn this off for a minute and preheat that. And then I'll turn it back on after I pop these in. I have to get lift this up and it's gonna be messy under. I have to put the other pan under it. So I will be back shortly. Okay, so I just put them in um, at 400 for 16 minutes. So I will be back soon. Okay, they're out of the oven, there they are. They're very imperfect looking, but like I said, it doesn't matter as long as they taste good. So I'm going to eat the ugliest one first, which is probably that one. Probably very hot. Going to be crunchy. Mmm. It's good. Very crunchy. Look the onion. The flavor is there. I'm going to have another one. Second ugliest one. Mmm. Mmm. I do like those. I'm trying to figure out, should I have one of these that doesn't have the hole? Because I pur purposely did it like this because I like the breading. Um. I think I'm going to eat this one. Mmm. Very crunchy. Mmm. I can taste the coconut flour. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. I really like these. I'm gonna have one more. I guess I should have that one. The one without the hole. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. They're very tasty. 
Very tasty. This one probably came out the best. Second, this one, because this one has some, another little thing on the inside. But they're very messy, but they're very, very yummy. They're oniony. I can taste the coconut flour. I taste the garlic powder, but not a lot. Could probably use some more garlic powder, but they're delicious. That was fun. Bye for now.